set this box in right here. I'm very excited about this box. What's in this box is I would say years of answered frustration. I think that's the way I wanna put it. Today, we're going to do a product review on the Before we start, I'm going to do a preference on why I think this is, this is the knife <sighs> to help you open it. Um, help me open it, I should say. It does not come with a bag. The knife is sold separately. Get it at any hardware store or adventure store. Okay. Um, anyway, good old adventure stores. When we started this, me, Gabe, Philip, all of our friends are now playing. When we started this, we got into a thing where we're like, we have, we gotta get paints, we gotta get this, we gotta get that, we gotta do all of that, right? And that comes with cases and containers. We were like, this is, this is the last bag we'll need. This is the last box we need. We're not gonna have to have to get all these containers, blah, blah, blah. It kind of embodies like what we're doing because we're always trying to find good ways to bring budget into it. And like this stuff can be super expensive. If this product was around when we started this, this would have been like a no brainer to get. I have buyer's remorse in all these cases because now I have I can potentially have one case that carries all of our stuff. But today, the whole point is what's in this box. So here's my disclaimer. I bought this 100% with my own money. Monument is not sponsoring this video. Um, we love their products and we love what they're doing. And this is, but when I, when I saw this was coming out, I'm like, this is a, this is a no brainer. This would have saved us all the time, all of the money, all of the frustration. And this is how you're gonna get it. If you order this, this is how it comes, right in this box here. So we are going to open it. Oh, so we're gonna open it. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Already love the box that it comes in. Put a lot of good stuff in this box. I don't even need to open this. This box. Just the box alone is worth it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Ooh, excuse me, just hit myself in the face. Oh, wow, it smells like evolution, man. The crumpling plastic and the beauty of what's this. Well packaged, look at this. It's like the Hobby's Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> this thing is great. Yeah! Okay, so. First things first, gotta take it out of its little sleeve. See if I can do this really pro, you ready? Look at that. This smells like good decisions, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm getting too ahead of myself. Okay, let's start with the outside. Now, the first thing that sticks out to this, to me specifically, this hard spot right here. Cause the, the whole idea behind this is that you have one bag and it's not just a bag, it's like an actual station that you're gonna set up wherever you're going. Looking at it again from the outside, the handle is fantastic. In the hand, it just feels really good. It, the overall weight of it is nice and light, but it's not too light where it doesn't feel flimsy, right? The zippers are great quality too. On the back of it, going to the back side, you have places to put your patches for um, hook and lock Velcro. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, hook and lock, right? Uh, for standard patches and stuff like that. Love this, cause you're not gonna wanna lose that. So you have a little card here where you can put your name. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that feels good right there. A nice solid bottom, a nice solid bottom, a nice solid bottom. The whole thing just feels like it's built for purpose. On the back here, there's a whole back side and we'll get to the front side here in a little bit. Check this out, awesome. This is awesome, because then you get a you get an actual strap for it too. Oh wow, this is just I didn't even I didn't even need the strap, just the handle alone. But now you're like full on travel briefcase style, which is amazing. That feels great. So going back to the back of it here, there's a nice compartment in the back. You can put lights back here. You can put your books back here. You can put your airbrush back here. Gabe, what else could I put back here? Keys, 
maybe a little sack lunch. Mm. A little sandwich. Mm. Then you have a whole nother side, like, oh, the webbing feel, the webbing on this, or I don't think that's called webbing, the mesh, whatever this is called. Uh, I know this is called molly webbing, we'll get to that later. Um, this feels really good for, this would be really good for books or like a palette. Like if you had like a wet palette, a glass palette in the back, you could put that right here and it's gonna grip it to it. And I don't feel like that's coming out at all. Okay, I'm gonna zip up the back and I'm gonna kind of talk a little bit more about what the outside is. Uh, I'm gonna take these off just cause I wanted to show you guys. So your clip for your straps are here on the side. Stress test. Ah! Or just in case you're like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what kind of situation, like if you're in a car accident. Whoa! Look at that, check that out. So that was the back, that's the sides. I took the strap off just to show you. Going back over here, I know I just, I just keep spinning it this way. This right here is called molly webbing. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but yeah, it's called molly webbing. This could be used for a bunch of different things. You could put hooks here, and then you can just hook on whatever. But the idea I'm gonna use it for specifically is putting a light pole in here, right? If I put a light pole through this and then have my light like tipping over like that, you know, like, like that, you know, you tips over, the light tips over like that. And from this, from the molly webbing, the light tips over. When you see this, you're gonna see why it's, your entire station, right? So, right off the bat. Good zippers. Oh yeah, feel that nice, no resistance. Just the, all the way down to the, the bottom like this. You guys ready for this? That just feels, that feels nice, Gabe. This, this is nice little padding little protective padding. You could use this for a thousand different things. I don't even know if that was the intention of the product when they put this in here or if it was just protection. So that that's a good point. So Gabe just brought up that, like let's say, cause you can always see here, you can put a myriad of different paints. You could put a plethora in abundance, putting this right over your paints because you know, I use Monuments paints because they're phenomenal and that's a whole nother video. But um, with any paints, right, if you've got like a drop bottle or like a tip on it and the paint is at the top or whatever, this would protect it when you close it, right? So I'm sure that's what it is. So I'm gonna keep that off to the side here. And you already can tell this, this foam feels good. So all your paints will go in here. And these are the pretty standard sizes for your paints. All right off the bat, being able to see all your paints and not have to spread them out on the table is fantastic. The example here is when you, I dropped it. No, I got it. Don't, don't, Gabe, don't move, Gabe. We're back. Paint. Oh my. Don't let me drive the car. Here's a little paint, a little dark ivory from their uh, signature series. Oh, that's a good bottle. Anyway, so here's an example of the paint just going, oh my, look at that. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice. That just fits well, right? Let's do a stress test, right? That's fantastic. That feels rock solid in there. And these come out, right? Which is even cooler because even with all of my shenanigans throwing it around, this feels like it's this, this isn't coming out very easily. Like that feels very nice. So anyway, that's an example of a little paint bottle in there. I'm gonna put that off to the side. Anyway, this is where all your paints go. That feels really good. I love the foam. It feels really sturdy. I love this little lip, which that feels really, that feels really solid right there, right? Um, and looking at the actual design of it, this part right here is where you can actually put more of your paints. And they have some uh, washes, they have sort of wash glaze you can put down here too. Primer, Primer yep. Then you could even put a brush case down here, a pencil case, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat, really. Then with this, check that out. Oh yeah, 
That's, that's nice there too. This is the whole station setup I was telling you guys about where the biggest thing with us is where I spread out all over the place. And you know, I'm going to somebody's house where I will just drop off all my stuff. I gotta get the mat out and everything. And this is just, you're just done. This is just what you do. I bought this a while ago, which is a mat that you can actually get uh, from Monument. This is like a cutting mat. You can see I've got paint all over here. This goes right into there. So that you actually buy separately because this is, it's designed to actually just fit the mat just like that. This is also for your paint bottles. So like if you need to pull from your top and like keep your paints organized, you can put all your little paint bottles. That just fits so nicely too. You got like a cup holder if you need a painting cup. This could be used for a little bit bigger bottles. This is where you can put all of your brushes that you're using. I use a glass palette for my paints and this actually, I think it is actually perfect for my glass palette because then you have these elastic bands here to hold it so that when you go to close it, it's not gonna fly out on you. And let's say you didn't have a glass palette and you're like, hey, I need a little bit more space on my table. These actually Velcro off, which is actually really dope. Look at that. That's fantastic. Like if you needed to just take this or maybe you didn't want to take the whole setup, you could literally like pull this out, go off to the side, do that whole number. Then check this out. What you're gonna do is you're like, I don't need this right now. Throw it right in the back. That's great. That is fantastic. This. Ah! That's not going anywhere, man. And you have two of them, but you can take both of them off just in case you are on a smaller table. So anyway, you can hold 96 paints in here. I don't even have that many paints yet, but overall, the most important thing about this, I would say, is the convenience and organization because I hate pulling out all of this myriad of different containers, all of that when I'm sitting down at a table with people. So this keeps it all nice and organized. And also it, this does not, and like this is a hundred percent like honesty, this does not feel cheap. You, you can buy some stuff and you're like, eh, this bin, this bag, whatever feels cheap. This is, this feels like this is gonna last me for the rest of the hobby, <laughs> which I couldn't say that about my bins. So going off of this again, I think the biggest concern some people might have is the size of it, right? The, it's, it is a large bag, but that's kind of the whole idea behind it, right? So just because it is a large bag, you can still use this as a compartment style thing, right? So like if I just needed to pull these trays out, right? And put these over on the table, right? And then pull my little craft mat out and put that on the table. Then at least I could put this down back on the floor and get it off the table. The whole idea for me is I'm going to use this for everything because I don't have, I don't have the luxury of having an at home place to do all of my crafts, right? This, this solves that problem because for somebody like me, I don't have a des like a designated area. My designated area is entirely in this case and I can go anywhere with it, right? And let's say also right here, this is glued down. You'll see there's this bottom, in like this foam insert. You could even take this out just because I think it has like a couple little glue points. Take this out, put Velcro on the bottom of it and then put it back in because you might just want this bottom tray, right? Um, which I, I think actually I'm 100% going to do that. Uh, what else, Gabe? You think that's good? Yeah. Think we need to hit any other points? I think you literally talked about everything. I think we literally talked about everything. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's, that's good bag. <laughs> that's not a, it's a nice bag. It's a nice bag. Hey, what's, uh, what's over there? Get out of here. He's gonna take my bug. Call the police. They'll never show up. So that's my honest review about the Monument Go Evo. I think if you're looking for a workstation 
for home, to travel with, to bring all of your stuff at once, this thing is the way to go. And that's not even blowing smoke. Like you will save, <laughs> you'll save time and money literally with this bag. At the time of making this video, you can pick this up for 195 on their website. We'll have a link down in the description as well. Um, but anyway, this thing is solid. I hope you guys know that we really like this bag and you'll probably see it in a bunch of our hobby videos coming up. But anyway, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think about the bag. If you have any questions on the bag, we really hope you guys enjoy this kind of video because when we find something too, I, I get excited about products that I find that are really good tools, right? When I find something that I'm really passionate about or find a need for that eliminates other things and makes it more simplified, I'm all about that. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you later.